the most important thing I think in choosing a, a financial planner is um, do they get you and do you get them? Are they asking deeper questions? Do, do they feel like they care about you as an individual? And are they upfront about things? For example, um, no matter who you are in the industry, there are conflicts of interest. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we just need to, to, uh, to disclose those. And so if a planner is upfront that says, oh, yeah, there, there are these potential conflicts, or here is my entire fee schedule right here, you know, the more um, – the more they're open about things is obviously a good sign. Um, in my book, I do have a chapter uh, in there that's called um, The Value of a Personal Financial Trainer, where I actually talk about um, how to select a financial advisor, uh, how to find one that knows uh, about the psychology of investing. And I suggest a few questions in there to ask as you're interviewing these advisors to see what kind of answers uh, they give. And one of those questions, which is the really the only true open-ended question is, tell me, uh, advisor, what role does psychology play in investing? And then you just sit back and listen. Not that you're quizzing them. Mm -hmm. You just want to see whether they have any background in this at all. And if it's very general, such as, well, yeah, I mean, obviously we're, we're emotional, we're psycho, you know, they're general, then they may not have as much of um, uh, an, an understanding of this. So obviously I'm biased myself. I speak about this all the time. So I think an advisor that understands the psychological aspect of things is going to bring more to the table than uh, one that doesn't would do. But that does not mean that that's everything. I think the key thing is finding an advisor that you trust, um, that is open with you. Uh, as far as how they bill and stuff, that's more personal preference.